Well, good afternoon. As we're sitting here at LTV on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, uh, June 22nd, year 2023, here with the Hello Hello Show, continuing with the tradition of uh, the, <clears throat> the Hello Hello Show and public access as an uh, inseparable entities that uh, bring us the, uh, brings forth the uh, stage uh, as uh, it makes itself uh, available. Available in the sense that uh, we can uh, feel that uh, at any given time we have a stage available to speak our piece and to maybe exercise our uh, privilege. Yeah, I love this word privilege. I once painted a painting named uh, titled uh, Privileged. And I think by doing this painting I learned how to... Uh, achieve by, uh, um, you know, construct, vis-a-vis, uh, -vis distract, you know, kind of um, a period of where I, I had to uh, disassemble the final compositions and have every every segment, every fraction of it uh, um, <clears throat> being the entire story itself, you know. So that's... Uh, <laughs> Um, I <clears throat> um, had a conversation with Fraser Dougherty, and to all of you who uh, don't know uh, who Fraser Dougherty is, uh, the founder of Real TV, celebrated uh, 101 on June 16, and um, I had the, the privilege to call him and to speak with him, and rec he rec recognized me uh, immediately, and I actually called him, and I, I mentioned... You know, I, I, the more the more I think about it, the more I realize that actually, when I met you, you were my age, and he's 101. That's uh, that's how many years ago. Um, but to see that uh, um, the if you find yourself involved with public access, you see that actually, it just seeps in, seeps through, and it's, there's sudden reminders and encounters that you kind of pleasantly surprised and. And, and the more you go through it, the more the uh, tra transitions are frictionless and kind of smoother. And so it's, so it's a wonderful it's a wonderful way not only to go about it, but uh, the artistic aspect of approaching it, of building up to it, of cozying to it, and you know, and then coming up with this whatever. <laughs> You know, and then you take a little short poem, and then you, and then you 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 approach your canvas and the surface, and then and you and, and you introduce decency. So, I actually thought about that this word, the privilege and decency. Decency and privilege. Uh, and one, therefore, the other, therefore, the other one. And um, because I think, yeah, the more I look at the piece, there's a piece to my left here that uh, um, shows, uh, maybe I'll bring it closer to me. see it here or not no you cannot really see it because it's just a uh, uh, maybe a little bit here we go but yeah so yes of course wanted to mention uh, and not to forget the contribution by Frederick Dougherty and Francis Anne in the process of uh, establishing and founding not only the concept and not only the place, the place for the concept, the concept for the for the place and both of them thriving along the years, about four decades here at the east end of Long Island to become a, a force to be reckoned with and also to become a given even more so, more and more in the hearts of the of the individuals out there, you know. Uh, when I first came to the East End, it was like LTV was its in the earliest inception stages. 
um, and I just felt like, uh, well, TV is TV. It's kind of this medium. Media is is uh, threatening a lot of it, and um, so it, it was actually a good thing that happened. So this way, I didn't rush myself into into this, re- this situation, reality that I really favored and and liked and wanted to be a part of. And um, and and then uh, finding that this is indeed uh, you suddenly begin to understand why you're actually really liking it so much and favoring it <clears throat> because when you go through it and take it like as a as a as a somewhat of an inseparable part of who you are who you're becoming and who you are the now that you are that's looking back to who you used to be and things like that and write poetry about it and the more i the more i get into cross implementation between mediums and if you're lucky enough to really have and, and then again you know what i have conversations with people where we I, i'd like to kind of promote a conclusion that will say no matter what at the end of the conversation we are all kind kind of capable you know and we all and we, and we all know more than we think we know about more things than we think we do for real and we, when we more realize that in order to, uh, when you encounter it, to adapt it or to spend longer time with it, you really need to kind of know the deal, know the s- simple, basic aspects of the deal itself, of what this piece of reality uh, ongoing uh, is is based on you know the philosophy even though i would assume that the philosophy will somewhat change almost every day but the core belief of it would be that even the villain himself or herself or themselves they would know they know that the day of judgment is coming and they will not be excluded so even as as harsh as they can be uh, they will find they can find themselves actually uh, um, maintaining a level of decency but known only to them because of course uh, but art draws you in to a center that is comfortable and and that is have a lot of uh, um, um, contents that 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 support uh, uh, longevity uh, um, somewhat of a healthy not only approach but uh, therefore result so a predictable stable uh, lifestyle that, that therefore is crazily creative you know uh, <clears throat> so i find writing especially when you when you reach a point where you really developed an incredible love and appreciation and uh, respect towards the written word but especially when it comes to you know snappy short medium sized short stories shows storytelling poetry and, and deep collages and, and words and words and sentences it's just like and and then you realize that it's a different realizations every encounter and if you if you're sensitive enough and careful enough you can see the resembles how indeed it's all kind of canopy a it's just a temporary slash somewhat uh, permanent structure that even when you take it down it leaves its its uh, specifications on the on the uh between the different degrees of light and the, the different degrees of darkness so how it blends and therefore uh, shapes and how it shapes and therefore must blend uh, and and all really supporting him it, it just basic sensations of gratitude and feeling good that can carry a person a, a long way yeah you can you can you don't have to have that many achievements and uh, in order to be feel secure that actually for the next 10 years you don't have to, you don't have to bother about anything because you earned it you can really dwell into your own genius and and make it work for you and create create artwork that 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 is accordingly accordingly to the p- 
place in the heart of of nature itself that that, that promotes selflessness. Just nature promotes selflessness. Uh, so so the encounter is guaranteeing us that we, by many venues, uh, manage to maintain the decency of our coherence and humaneness and you know and all of the above. Of course. It will be possible to talk only one dimensional at any given direction at any given time any given day here and but uh, art centers you so what what the difference is that it creates for you is that now you have to operate from the center outwards expanding it would be also always before it was it before I realized that it was all about coming from the outside into the point of focus. So this airy, wide and motions, whatever, push into the center and become more and more condensed as they have less and less space to to contain their contents, you know, and until you get they get into the so breakthroughs is more is getting closer to the to the to the uh, seed or to the grain to so just imagine so they're both the same but when you so now you realize you're operating from the center and you want to actually stretch openly and connect with your body with your body more yeah because and, and then that will be a part of the condition and the uh, main force that uh, marches and leads uh, towards um uh, a breakthrough and that breakthrough for a chain is not like going inwardly into the grain into the seed and then becoming a part of it and there it's kind of stopped it's stopped and then you go downward you know you go deep in whatever so outwardly operating as an expansion from the center and there you find magic that is already there for for ages for you know the uh, uh, that which that we have that we um, uh, own <clears throat> is so vital for you know for the world for life i.e. the world i.e. society i.e. mankind you know that just said certain basic things that everything is clear about how important they are and also the route for individuals, even regardless of what kind of uh, uh, reality, and which kind of reality you live, whether you have freedom or not, whether you're oppressed or not. But <clears throat> to have it a self that is trained, not only to thrive on that which is uh, exist in abundance, which is, is obvious, uh, but also from the little bit uh, that it it might identify as quality stuff, you know. Here, here, nothingness is approaching you, but you know that it's so full of contents. Nothingness is making its way towards you. Nothingness is literally arriving and encircling you, and it's in and yet, uh, incredible amount of meaningfulness is uh, allowing itself to sink in and to occupy a certain chunk piece of surface that is uh, that gives us a sense of security even if you were to say okay you're good to go for three days or you're good to go for a week or a month um but then even if you were to get all the benefits possible still you're gonna have to show it its way to the grinding machine that will interpret what uses it can serve at the end of the way once it's refined for your own purpose. So what is it that we're going to get from this huge amount of existing energy that's going to be filtered into that? So we need to know that it's not going to be much, but it's going to have to serve a lot in, 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 and to be available and with some kind of a an amount of time that is decent enough and guarantees us that 
decisions can be made because we had just about enough time to uh, make the adjustments and to speak our piece in a new style, in a new approach, in a new uh, attitude. This is actually Sprite, and I, I had a can, and I hate cans, so I just put some Sprite into my water bottle, and um, I'm, I'm going to say no more. <laughs> So, with the written word, I already had an exercise where I did uh, 127 poems. There was a project about something that triggered it, and it, uh, and then you you have to be able to prove to yourself that out of nothingness, kind of thing, out of randomness, you can really bring to life an eventual portrayal of seriousness and of. Uh, capability and of uh, proper translation proper translation so if you're working hard at least you know you're not wasting your time and that you're really creating i want to read something to you and you don't know what it belongs to everything vis-a-vis -vis engaging with nothingness it belongs to everything vis-a-vis engaging with nothingness and maybe even in more ways than one succumbing to it <coughs> you pull it by you pull it by its uh, upper sleeve and you show it you show the way firmly yet kindly you know and um yes yes let's see let's see this yeah yeah i think that this is touchy that's uh, 30 out of 100. I really do title them this way. This is 30, segment 30. I have 30 that I am, I'm actually did 31, 69, 69 left, so 30. <clears throat> so with your permission, um, you missed me. I noticed it. It wasn't hard to notice. Your love for me comes from a source of giants as they stroll on the quest for hunting. Though it was only a quest, I raised the issue of wonder, only so you can have a timely breather, a stable balancing gauge. Come, come now. Put aside your bundles of love. It will reappear and you will be happy. You will be happy you took that breather. Your life dependent on it. You were a shadow. You are a shadow so tight loyal to reality and you know it you know it first as the softness yield yields and softness indeed it is the soft belly of hard surfaces the uncontrolled sex drive even though you never had this drive within the equation of intimacy yet it was a lurking drive, a build-up of private sensations of humans in general, and it was crucial. Dreaming like a beggar in a setup of testing the world. Why? Because you can, and because you're able and allowed. and noticed, and deserved, and cold-blooded, and cool and calm, and sweet out of a chain reaction taking place always, regardless, despite, after all, illuminating, aggressive, sensible, loving, annoying, 
surprisingly predictable, blasting with concern, balanced as the sheet holds a string of dissent, responsible for the shared love to begin with, and yet the extensive knowledge does not seem to earn a second chance, a shelter of momentary urgent needs. We might as well, we might as well, uh, we, uh, we might as well grant, grant permission early and sit back with anticipation as much as knowledge shepherds us as the time suggests and points us and lucky for us with, that we responded. We care, we want to be involved regardless of a void lurking between the shrubs of uselessness. And then I was... <laughs> what, so what was that? <laughs> I was, you were like, I have to make... Is that a poem? Yeah, that was like a part of a... Uh, Yeah, crank it up. Okay, very good. Okay, so first of all, thank you for removing the, the work. I'm already looking uh, looking forward. By the way, Jody Gambino is uh, um, a force to be reckoned with here at the station, one of the most uh, wonderful uh, of, the, of the crew here, and also a great artist that showed at the uh, last uh, uh, show. And... Uh, so we were talking about the continuation of it for October. Something that we can <laughs> suddenly find ourselves yeah. uh, super capable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. We, we put all the pieces in, in place yeah. and it's now like, you just have to execute more shows. Yeah, and it's like, like a mom, it, 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 an entity that knows how to take care of itself. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Self-sustaining organism. Yes, yeah. yes, but yet <laughs> You know, alternative and a little bit avant garde won't hurt. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, you can, I can see you easily, easily like standing in front of a, whatever canvas on the floor and, and deciding to do something completely different than what you used to, but still basic. I, I can see you easily. That's what's uh, fun about Conquering it, yeah. a canvas and, and, and dictating what's going to happen and looking at it afterwards and saying, I actually like it. Yeah, I got uh, I actually started on a canvas with some paint markers recently, uh, doing like these squares within squares, kind of like the one I had up there. Yeah. But I have a whole series of those. Yeah. So those are kind of cool. And yeah, I got two new canvases. I don't like normally have a lot of canvas, so it's, so it's exciting when I get see, one. To see yeah. it's a... I'm like, huh, I got a blank yeah. one. Yeah. And then we, with those squares and all this, you will quickly enough realize that maybe after you create this uh, uh, skeleton, you, you leave it alone and it will be in itself at least. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it will start affecting you like this. You, 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 you get away from color and then come back to color, you know. It's so hard for me to get away from color. I don't know why. Briefly. Like, yeah, briefly, say. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The only time I get away from color really is uh, like black and white photos or film or... And now there's not really film, so it's pretty much just throwing a black and white filter over it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I used to use the iridescent white. It was the period where I was like crazed about iridescent colors. Uh -huh. And that iridescent white served as a white, like all white that I used to do, which was weird. I stuck to it for five, six years. So uh, I was crazy. Yeah, I like the real fluorescent colors. Yeah. And I used to work directly from the tubes. I was never afraid, you know. People used to approach me right. and say, uh, "Oh, I see you're you're shooting that that paint directly out of the cube." And I yeah. said, "So." I do the <laughs> same thing, and and people are like, "Oh, wow, you must have deep pockets." <laughs> it's the I'm, like, I'm like, "Oh, I didn't realize it was that much more expensive. If it, you know, you can mix them and dilute it." <laughs> <laughs> deep pockets, I love that. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like I said. No, but I mean, they mean like they measure you. How, how, as an artist, I mean, usually you would want to kind of create your color. Right, right, this, right. But coming directly from the tube is like suggesting that you're 
Right, yeah. like an amateur or something. Yeah, or well, you know, you didn't have enough education. Right. Well, the truth is, I had a color theory professor in college who was a painter, and he was just he was like the soup nazi like he was the paint nazi like he was obsessed with mixing colors and we just could not get a good grade in that class no matter what we did uh you know i don't know if you guys are familiar but you'd get these color cards that are the actual color you get a pack of like 64 or something and then you have your basic colors and you have to mix to match the color card and you know, every night me and my roommate were up in our dorms mixing these colors, add a little more black, add a little more white. I just could never get it to be yeah. that color. Like, it's yeah, usually so you, hard. You, you end up with something that's kind of darker and, and yeah. you, there's no way back. White. But that class, I will say, I I had like pretty much like a C or a D the whole quarter. And then my senior or not senior, but my my thesis for that class was to create an original shape. So I, I spent a lot, a lot of time making this original shape. And uh, it got an A. He, the, the professor liked it. I was so surprised. I was like, oh, my God. And then he even, uh, he, they put it in my school's museum for a little while. Up on the wall, I got to hang up. And I was, like, super proud about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After getting, like, Ds and Fs. The, yes. whole, the whole quarter and then oh you all right we're putting it on the wall i was like i guess i learned something in here yes <laughs> yeah yeah well I, I, but lucky for you that you're you're young enough to to count on the fact that you will have many intersections where you will have to make decisions that will benefit your journey you know your progress right yeah so i would have loved to have those extra 20 years where um, you get the right mentors. You, you you surround yourself with a company that that is nice. That they, right. they, they can be critical also in a nice way. But you know how it is. Deterrence. Yeah. Me and my board in school. Uh, the until today when they hear that I'm an artist, you know, like yeah, that many years later. Are like, they shocked? Oh, you never showed any size. Like I said, well, okay, okay, I never showed. You know, the same story. Oh, he he didn't he didn't give any indication that he will ever become an artist. Now look at him. You know what I mean? So like, were you, something were you more... doodling in class or? I was. Uh, I was the head of the student union. Oh, okay. that's the guy, kind of guy I was. Right, right, right. I started my own t uh, uh, radio station in my boarding school. Oh, nice. I used to uh, I, I I hung speakers throughout all the trees of the. <laughs> The, uh, of the boarding uh, school and I wired it into a room and we had used to have a box where you can just drop requests really? and then I would just like shoot it from this room throughout the boarding school <laughs> that's crazy yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know that must have taken some time though uh, no but I was also <clears throat> created the first journal first you know paper oh wow yeah yeah we used to do interviews forget about it we used to do a lot of things so and where yeah. where was this in Israel. In Israel, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. People who had problems like with teachers or this, and they were like, they used to come and, and tell me and say, see if you can do something about it. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah like this. <laughs> it's a, it's like a guidance counselor. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one day, you know, uh, once a month we used to go home, so buses used to come and take us to the train station. I don't know, it was one of the, one of the teachers or something caught one of our classmates taking something with him that he wasn't supposed to take. I don't know, a little painting from the wall, uh -huh. something. And he made such a big fuss about it. And I remember I went to him and I said, listen, if you want to delay this guy's departure and to go home and all this and, and, and hassle all of us and all this, you better arrange for, a, you know, for like a taxi to take him to the station. And he said, and, and, and who are you? And what, what did you say? Like, he was like, I said, yeah, I said, like, uh, and then I said, listen, either I say that or I'll bring the entire class and we'll all say it in one voice. Right. You have to. And then I said, you know what, whatever it is that you think he done, wait until Monday and he'll deal with it then. Yeah. He'll be back. And you know what? It went through and people saw that and they said, you know, maybe uh, maybe it's better to approach Haim and then yeah, to yeah. the teachers. As a mediator, <laughs> yeah. But there was, there's always something about uh, about uh, 
My sister was the class president, but I never got involved with anything like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in art club and ran track in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did long distance and stuff like that. Swimming. Long distance kills me. I can't, yeah, can't yeah. do that. I did the short distances. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Swimming was big. I was in the Jerusalem team when I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but, yeah, so... Um, yeah, going back to, uh, you know, if if you can really convince yourself that if you put like half a dozen sentences together, you can get a beautiful short poem. Yeah. If you understand that in itself, if you I, start I from love, there and focus yeah. on it, you'll be the best painter. You'll be the okay. best guitar player. Right. You'll be the best musician. You will be the best. You're just because, talking about taking baby steps. Yeah. And then, and then just like, for finding him out of the mediums, especially a person like you who can do more than one thing. Yeah, yeah. You choose the one that you're comfortable with and seek help from the other two. That's been my problem is like not picking a medium really. And just kind of, I like, I mean, I like doing what I do. I like sampling different things. And, uh, but yeah, it would be nice to, to focus on, on one thing now. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie uh beauty is embarrassing no you should watch that i think you'd get a real kick out of it really it's about this guy uh wayne i think his name is who uh got his first job working on the peewee herman set designing the the uh muppets i guess or the puppets and uh he's a painter too but he does these outrageous like kind of realistic looking landscapes with these big graffiti words over it and uh his i could relate a lot to his journey and uh i always watch that movie as kind of a source of inspiration because one quote he had in it he's like yeah when i was in school you know people are always like pick one thing do one thing and he said fuck that i like doing everything <laughs> and so he did and and he kind of became an artist or had a career what's his name i'm sorry but i think it's i want to say wayne shorter I'm not sure though. Uh, the the movie's called Beauty is Embarrassing. Okay. It's a great watch, if especially if you're into art and like the process and how things kind of come into fruition and how you jump from one thing to the next. Uh, wait, what the heck? You know what happens to me in messages <laughs> that sometimes it picks a recording. While yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. If you hit the while wrong I'm, while I'm typing. Yeah, my text message will be like a, a whole okay. jumbled paragraph of everything that everyone said in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so is, is it beauty? Yeah, beauty is embarrassing. Okay, good. Wayne Shorter? I, I, Wayne something. Wayne Shorter might be somebody else. Yeah, Wayne Shorter is a sax player. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's a jazz world, Wayne Shorter. No, but this guy... Wayne, I... okay, so beauty is embarrassing. I'll... I'll uh, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, but, but, but what I mean is that, uh, like, uh, I, I, I started two projects. Uh, 127 poems that I said because oh, wow. something triggered it, triggered it. And then while I was finishing the 127, something else happened. And and I went to that person. He knows me. I said I'm going to write a hundred poems about this. Oh, uh, and I'm like, so I'm like a tragedy or something. Like whatever, no. whatever. It's regardless. It can be yeah, anything. Yeah. It's the use. It's like almost like a the necessity for for a guideline, where 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 um, where it, it has a few pointers, but it's so massive and so meaningful that you don't need more than two three pointers to carry you like a whole journey. Okay, that kind of thing. So, uh, and and I never use punctuations. No, there are no commas. No, okay. Nothing. No exclamation. No, nothing. nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's just so that in itself is like okay. You could read it I? a few different ways. Yeah. Where am I? For you know what? I love writing poems. Okay, you know it's, what? Uh, I'll, I'll 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 give you a, a, a randomly a piece. And of I get to read it. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's just say this: twenty-one out of one hundred. All right. Take your time. <laughs> Okay, I will take my time. I'm going to read this like I wrote it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the thing, the rich source, a blast of utter sameness, the brick of 
cluster erection, a rude blessings. Lastly, prematurely and evenly blanking a hip notion, a haste of garden have that's that's that end resolves and north of blessed features expressions of the many expand way of the blink of reason partly connected especially when i saw you learning basics with a smirk of knowledge as i wished the numbered count let there be bold and so much so slope for a rich kind the well-to-do stealing spending time most with breath most with a breath rough through leeway compassion and some manage to invent the lyrics let alone a melody blanking mainly as a sequel enhances versions by versions straightforwardly what calm whispers that have woven tricks of happy marches breathe again with special invite of lovers yeah that, that last line <laughs> Well, sizzling. Yeah, I like it. Breaking, sizzling. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. did extremely well. Congratulations. <laughs> you did extremely well. Yeah. I read a poem I wrote at a friend's uh, memorial service. It was about growing up out here. And uh, I didn't think I'd ever share it with anyone, really. But I, I read it in front of, you know, a couple hundred people. And I got a really good reaction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we should do some poetry now and then. Should we bring a volume or something? We'll do. Yeah, I, I want to give a shout out to my friend who passed away, who was a poet, uh, yeah. Stephen Puckett Humphrey. Hmm. Um, we should read some of his poems on here. Oh yeah, yeah, it'd oh, be yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'd love to. I would love to. So yeah, let's let's make it a habit. You know, it's, it doesn't it shouldn't take much over because we're already here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a flow. <laughs> it's not like we need to. <laughs> Make arrangements. Yeah, yeah, that was so easy. I was just yeah, uploaded like, a couple of videos, yeah, walked in here. It's like, yeah, like what the heck? It, it was, but just I know you have to to go back, but but you know, in your generation, don't you think that it's it, it's you can so easily assume the the position of a leader if you wanted to. You could. Yeah. You don't have to be like super spatial or uh, something to write home about. You just just a regular person who makes a decision. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to make a difference because I know I can. Right. The situation stares me in the face and tells, tells me you can do it. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, that's that's like uh, it's been the bat signal for me lately. I'm been like, block out all the nonsense. Yeah. Do the right thing, you know. And art will be there waiting for you, available. Yes. <laughs> that's the beauty of it, even more so. Totally. Yeah. It seems to just uh, happens to be on your route well the thing is i've been so obsessed with art for so long that i've actually taken kind of a break from it recently just to kind of get my health in order and my life my sleeping my eating um but yeah it's it's there waiting for me you know yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh so yeah i think i'm gonna start with those canvases and just keep it simple, watch a movie, Yeah, that's, go home, that, draw a little bit. That's, you can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. I highly recommend. Oh, yes. I, my early stages, I, I did exact, exactly that. I, I, forget about it. It's like, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was capturing myself in, in, a, in a sort of, a, of an, a, like, like, like enclosed, if you, whatever, if you, whatever it is, like an, that, that it was my own doing. It was my own creation. So I wasn't fearing. I, I didn't have pho usually I'm phobic, right. but when I created myself, this small space does not make me feel phobic. Right. Because it's like my own doings. It's like I know the ins and outs of it. So I'm not afraid I won't be stuck because I built it myself. Right, right, right. So, you know what I mean? Totally, totally. There's no like last minute revelation. Oh, by the way, you need the third key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> You're gonna die here. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like intense. That's insane. But in the same token, if you realize that early enough, just make sure that not only you're going to have the three keys, three copies of each one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny you say yeah. that. Hey. <laughs> Do you need help? Uh, it's good. Good. Okay. They're very nice of you, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you know what I mean? So, so quickly enough, we realized that most of the delays 
cannot, yeah, you cannot necessarily obstacles in our lives is only because we, so there were certain things we didn't know. Mm-hmm. It's not like because we fail or because we were right. working hard. It's just like, you know, when, when I first started and I don't ask my whole people used to come and they used to give me criticism, whispering in the back of my ear, like, hey, I think you should do it. No, really, you did a great job here, but you know what? I think you should do it. And I'm like literally making notes in my mind, taking every word they say seriously. Right, right. Because I just wanted to, this was my shortcut. People already talking to me, telling me what it is that I need to change. Yeah, and, yeah. And I took for granted that I should value everyone's opinion, everyone. You know right. what I mean? So really, if you do that. It's hard because um, you hear so much different opinions on your work and your choices. And uh, you start to become desensitized to it. and filter them out because a lot of people don't have like a proper timeline in order and they they want to do this and they want to do that but how do you fit it all in you know and i would ignore a lot of people's advice for a while but once in a while someone will say something that you're like that's it i should sell those rings in this store or i should make it this way or i don't have to do that at all you know um so my ears are open to that type of stuff if you have enough solo exhibitions where you are your own master of those hours and controlling the presentation the way exactly as you want and and people come in the you know the the early times of 97 98 99 2000 2001 i was just living in fear yeah i did i did a lot of exhibitions for someone who never did it before Right, but I wasn't sure about anything, and I thought that people are looking at me and saying to themselves, "Who is this garbage walking on two legs?" <laughs> I'm telling you, I have these yeah, yeah. crazy things in my head because everyone was an artist, and I respected everyone, and I appreciate every, everyone's work, and I felt like I'm so behind. It can feel that way. Um, like when my band played the East End Underground, that was our first show ever. And every other band was like very seasoned. Yeah. And we we had to listen to all of those before we performed. Oh so I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? You, you sounded well. We you sounded know, good. It, it, it had something unique about it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that it was your first time. I yeah, mean, yeah. You, you showed uh, much more confidence than. I mean, we, we played well that day, and I'm really glad about you, the taping. You but sure we, did. We all kind of held back just a little because we knew it was being taped. So it wasn't as crazy as the basement. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of, uh, let's just say, uh, you don't take for granted the bank to do your balancing and, 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 you know, overlooking the numbers. You want to, you want to, you want to be, you want to be together with the system itself. Then, yeah, yeah. You know, you want to have a voice and, you know, even if you don't vote for it. It, it will not pass yes speaking because of that your voice is so powerful you know what i mean we our band got picked for the top 15 bands on long island that's for great. the battle of the bands but we we uh we didn't get the top five uh-huh. uh we had to people had to vote and i guess yeah. we didn't get enough votes um but it was a good thing it got a lot of momentum behind yeah us so we got back together we've been playing a bunch yeah, and your your drummer is is very very nice and very uh, I, I I like him very much. Oh, the drummer. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he is just so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, he is good. I've yeah, I told you I've played with him since he was yeah eight or nine years old. Yeah, and, he, and you know, in his own, you know, he's in his own unique way, he takes it seriously. You know? He does. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so uh, you <laughs> see that, I, and I can appreciate that the the face expression of his that's. So it tells you he's just so good at music that yeah. he'll want to do things that like I can't necessarily hear. You know what I mean? Oh, it should be technical, like, and I'm like, Say is that, that what the audience is listening for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that, is that what he... <laughs> but, but that's, that's the truth is he takes it seriously and um, he wants it to sound a certain way. Can you read one more before we? Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, how about you read the first one and then you read number seven? Okay. What, what, but what's the title and the subtitle? 
So is this all of a sudden or is subtitle? So long, short visit, Pompeo. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So greenhouse under pretty sight for the devil, grinding teeth for heaven's sake, drip, oh drip, you. You science fiction whiz travel secretly now. Time has come and went to scramble the precise prediction. You are to live forever with happy face buried in the mud or finger trails flirting with the brush against recovery. You, son of a folding shrine, break doomed and cursed. Be your thirst. You, your priest of jungle piercing. Ow, ow. For real, I'm done. So long, short visit. <laughs> For some reason, I think I'm getting to know you better reading these <laughs> than just talking to you. And then you want me to read number seven? Yeah. I don't know if it's the, the one-liner or is it the... Oh, no. It's like a multiple choice question. Oh, really? Yeah. What's that? I see the one-liner. That's number six. No, no. But what, what's that? The, the... It says seven to a hundred. So seven out of a hundred. Yeah. And there's four things you can check off. Notes from a distance were not noticed. First time around is a dis disabling flush. Not securing self-lending. Not spread thin promises. Ever climbing to have the sweet moments on their side. Let me find the presence to pray to the lifting accountability. But the second one is selected. First time around, it's a disabling flush. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a multiple choice question. Really? Let me see. I, see? I, oh, it's this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, wait a second. It's the one that I was going to. Uh, oh man okay You're giving me a long one so 13 out of 100 probable but yet the rolling growth tender with a pulse it's a righteous and a wrath of a place for a circular rise as it were i thought a bridge groom the blast of bloom how it is a latch rim so bonded with notoriety you were one you were the one who raised the soil above the ground a celebration of pitching a score erupted and you prevailed yet the inflated vibe belonged to a separate precaution trend through having through a blast guided a brick layer haphazardly it landed with style Royalty placed on a bar for the lazy and the king retrieved to fornicate. I don't believe I just said that, but it does not matter. The ache does not matter. The ache cleared the path of pain, striking through the notion of humility. I mean, a spiritual one, a man made cave type of treasure hiding and hopes shuddering between the tunnels of well wishers. But the forgot to but the forgot to lay out the outcome of terror accompanying a grim pattern between the rose petals holding onto the thorns, just in case. Just in case. Huh? <laughs> you did very well, man. Like, why Thank did you, you know. Oh, man, God bless. <laughs> this is much appreciated. Uh, wow. Very good. Well, I uh, appreciate you. <laughs> no, I, I know. And, and, and we're sitting here with Jody Gambino at, at, uh, at LTV here with the Hello Hello Show. And uh, Looking forward to uh, seeing what the results of. Uh, uh, but listen, if now and then you have like a, something you just want to run by me or, or, or whatever concerning how you kind of move forward. Sure, yeah. And I'm always there. If, Appreciate even it. if you just drop a line, I'll, I can, can just give you one of those freestyle anecdotes. Cool. I'll bring some poems and I'll yeah. read some oh, on yeah. there. Let's yeah. Do that. yeah, yeah. For real. Let's do it. Let's make it a habit. I got to find them, but I have a bunch. Let's <laughs> make it a habit. Cool, man. All Great. Right. Okay. I'm Thanks a lot. Really <laughs> appreciate that. Here yes. we go. Man. The Jody Gambino is here with us. So, uh, and then we'll, uh, what we got? Five. Yeah. We'll got a, um, I think seven more minutes to go here. So just one second. Let me do this.
Okay, so that was actually very nice to be able to converse with uh, with Jody and just kind of see the new generation how it really unfolds and how it's. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, so it's so nice to kind of encounter with the. Uh, a wonderful a new generation, as talented and as versatile as uh, Jody Gambino is here, was here. So it's, it's it's a pleasure. And this is the station here at, at LTV where we make uh, uh, all these encounters and, and all good, willing, uh, hardworking individuals uh, making things happen here and accomplishing uh, right and left. Just to mention that we have a, uh, a group art show and, and we actually have monthly group art shows uh, art exhibitions here at the corridors of LTV. This one that I'm putting together is, uh, uh, is uh, a, a show with, uh, I just wanted to make sure that I'm spelling one of the names. Uh, <clears throat> um, yes, so uh, yes, yeah, so, so we got five artists, uh, we got three new ones, uh, Seth, Law and uh, Steve Rahm and uh, Barbara Maslin and uh, Rene Dahl, uh, whom I know for many years, and I'm kind of excited to show the, the power behind her compositions. And Chris Lecour, and I'm going to have uh, Chris Lecour is going to show one piece, Steve Rahm is going to show one piece, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing one piece. And, and Renee Dahl shows a full body of work. Uh, also, Barbara Maslin shows a full body of, of work of sketches of uh, music and musicians, and, and very exciting. Um, and uh, Setha Law with her prints, uh, very delicate, very sensitive. Uh, I, I've, I found it very beautiful. So, and the show is called is uh, titled the Roundabout, and uh, the opening will be on uh, Saturday, July 8th, between 3.30 and 7. And, uh, and that's what we do every month. Uh, um, so we're looking forward to that. And I wanted to thank uh, the previous artists that showed uh, Michael McDowell, whom I admire. Wonderful, wonderful, incredible uh, creative individual, uh, wonderful painter. And uh, Jonathan uh, Morse wonderful photographer and I want to thank Jonathan for taking my portrait which is like wow and mixed feelings and about it but I, I I respect it and I admire and I and I it's wonderful to see that people are so capable and then we had Chris Lecour from the Lecour Gallery in, in Montauk a very capable individual young I um, say no more it's like so <clears throat> He was also at the previous show, Jody Gambino, uh, showed wonderful collages. And of course, David Slater, David Slater, the uh, powerful and, and wonderful, wonderful, sensitive work. So I wanted to thank all these for the previous show. And as I said, July 8th, we have the opening of the next one. And uh, we're just continuing and feeling, feeling like this is not only the right thing to do, this is, this is just, um, a wonderful, uh, um, a wonderful journey, and for the most part, it works, and and it brings entertainment, and it brings a an, an entity where where one's work can be can be be put on display. So I think I'm going to finish with that because after this conversation with Jody, I have nothing else to say. I said enough. I think we read enough poetry. That was awesome. God bless. We're going to be here tomorrow as much as we were here yesterday, and as much as we're here. This afternoon of Thursday, June 22nd, year 2023, here with the Hello Hello Show. My, my name is Chaim Mizrahi, and I'm coming up with a show at Ashwa Hall. Mark your calendars. It's going to be explosive. Um, July 15th, Saturday, opening from 3 to 8, whatever. We're going to be there all day long because of the uh, the uh, the market. Uh, and um, so that's that. We'll see you soon and I'll repeat all this information next time, which will be, will be tomorrow. <laughs>